Mrs. Talk Techie here, and for today's tech tutorial, I want to show you how to use Google Slides to create basically a hyperdoc. We're going to add links to this slide and then we're going to download it as a PDF so that when you attach it and send it out, it is hyper uh, hyperlinked. That means it's interactive. They can choose to click on images uh, or uh, text or act an actual link and it'll send them to where you want it to go to those websites. So let's get started, okay? I'm here in my Google Slides presentation and what I've done is I've reformatted it to uh, be a portrait style uh, slide because the idea is that I'm going to send this out as an attachment and it's going to be interactive where people can click on different maybe icons or uh, I can create an actual link or the text will lead them to a site that I want them to go to. Uh, just really simple how to turn uh, the orientation. You would go to File, Page Setup, and here I went to Custom and I changed it to an 8.5 by 11, which is an actual paper size. So let's go to the very first way to make this document a hyperdoc. The first way is you can always choose to type out the actual URL and slides will make it a link for you. You don't have to tell it that it's a link. So for example, www.youtube.com and then I'm just going to click on spacebar. Notice it, it changed color and it turned uh, with a, it now has an underline. That means it's a link now. The only thing about this though is because they changed it to yellow uh, based on the theme that I chose for my for my slide. So what I'm going to do is I like it to look blue because like that Everybody knows that's a clickable link right once you see that blue underlying text, you know, it's a clickable link um, How do I know that my link is working if I click on the text it shows me this that means it's linked But let's just check it out make sure it's working and there you go. That means my link is working to regular YouTube. Another thing, what if I want to make a image uh, on my slide a link? For example, this YouTube image. It says click on the YouTube icon to go directly to the tutorial. So what I would do here is I would select it. This is really important. Always keep this in mind, especially if you're a new user to Google Slides. Your uh, toolbar here will change based on what you've selected. So right now I've selected the image and I know that I've selected it because I have these blue boxes and now the, this toolbar changed uh, to format the image. If I go to this text, notice that now the toolbar changes for that text. If I just click on the slide, then now I can format the slide like the background color or the theme. So going again to this image right here, I want to make this a link. So I'm going to go to my toolbar and here I can click on insert link. I want this link to take them directly to one of my YouTube tutorials. So I'm going to go to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Talk Techie, and I'm going to go to my videos. And let's say I want it to take them directly to um, this other tutorial about making a Google activity on Google Classroom. So from here, I'm going to click on share. I'm going to copy this link and it's copied to my clipboard. I'm going to toggle back and I'm going to paste it and apply. And now notice it's a link now. So if I close up my icons right here, uh, I'm going to click on this and it should take me to that specific tutorial. And there it is. Let's go back to our Google slide presentation. And I've already shown you how to make a actual link. So an actual URL. Now we linked this image uh, to an, a, a website. And the last thing is how to link text to a site. And so it's really simple. Always remember that once you select it, your toolbar will change based on what you've selected. So now that I've selected my text here, I can click on the insert link and very simple again, apply and notice as soon as this pops up, that means it's a link. 
So now you have three links embedded within this one document. The next question is, how do I make it a PDF so that it's interactive and I can attach it and send it through emails. I can put it on a drive and then share the link from there. It's really simple, guys. Here's the next step. What you would do is you would go to File and then you'd go to Download. So other uh, software like Keynote or PowerPoint, they use the terms Export. Here we're going to use Download. And you're going to download this as a PDF. So I'm going to click on PDF. So now that you clicked on Download, uh, you can go to the bottom left-hand corner, and I'm going to show it in my Finder because I want you guys to know that whenever you obviously download something, you'll find it in that folder, and you can make sure that you move it to where you need it. Um, now I'm going to click and open it up, and this is what you're going. This PDF file is what you're going to be attaching in emails, or you might uh, upload it to a drive where you could get a shareable link and then share that link. And when they open it up, they'll see this interactive hyperlinked document. Uh, and if uh, for common pra for good practice, it would be to make sure that you give a little bit of instructions. For example, click on the YouTube icon to go directly to the tutorial. So that lets me know that this is a hyperlinked icon. Uh, these are simple and self-explanatory because, like I said, everybody knows that it is a, a link that will take you somewhere. But it's important for us to kind of give them those instructions. So if I click on this one, it's going to take me there to that specific tutorial. So just think about all the things that you could do with this. You can compile a comprehensive guide for reading re resources for our kiddos and share the link and then all they have to do is click on the links to take them to the different resources that you want them to be utilizing at home. So it's a really neat way to get a lot of information out there just using one simple link or, or attaching one sing single document. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this and I uh, hope you use it. Let me know what you think, uh, comment, share, like, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, guys, make sure you hit that bell so that you can get notified every time I upload new content. All right, have a good one.